Hey, what's going on guys? This is Toby from Actually Good Games and today we are going I'm going to show you how to create a random game generator on the programming language Python. So, um first things, well first things first. This um this program is it may seem a bit pointless, but it's just a bit of fun. Um, so you can use it just to, if you're bored and you like you can't really decide what game to play, you can just input these games and then um, it will sort of select a random game for you. Okay, so if another thing is, is if you don't know how, well, if you want to just copy this um, code, you can. Um, if you, That's if you don't really know much about Python, but if you do, then obviously you'll probably know how to make this already. Um, but Python is a programming language, so you can create programs with it. Um, and it's just sort of, um, it's a really good programming language that I've been learning at school, so I know quite a bit about it. Um, first, how to get the software to do it. it just go to a Google, type in Py, Python. And it should be the second one down, download Python, python.org slash get it. And it'll be this one for Windows and this one for Mac, hopefully. Okay, so now um, the basics of it. So if you just want to know what program you're doing, you do hashtag. Um, so it'll be random game generator. Okay. And then you want to type in import random. And then you want to create a variable called game. And so game will equal random dot randint one and um, you need to leave that blank depending on how many games you have. So now um, you will need to do the if statements. So you go if game equals equals one, so double equals one, then colon, you print, so you use this print function to um, print out any like just any text or anything you want printed so you'll print and then the name of the game so like Bioshock so basically that that will just print out Bioshock so to create to have several ones you would have make another if statement if game equals equals two you will need to put oh wait I did a semicolon colon um, print um, I don't know, dead, dead island. That's just an example of a game I have. Okay, and make sure you have the bracket and the speech marks um, on each either side. So this is a bit. So the one, if you say you only got two games, you then put two there. So that's the range of how many games. So if I add in then another one, so I then add in another if statement. If game equals equals three colon print, um, bracket, speech mark, and then another game. So I would just say, um, no, Battlefield. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, so Battlefield. Um, so then you've got, you've got three there, so then you need to put, put three, because the range is from one to three. So basically what this program will do is randomly select um, any one of these games. So if I run it, if I run this, this um, I'll save it just as um, random game generator but I've already done this before so I'll put um, two and then so it randomly generated the game name Dead Island so now if I try again hopefully it'll do something different so well I did the same there because remember it's completely random every time so it's not so then it did Bioshock and then it might do it might do Bioshock again or Dead Island I don't know and then Dead Sea Look went back to Dead Island. So it's just completely random. And then see, you can see there it did Battlefield as well. So you've only got three games there. So now I'll show you one that I made earlier. So this actually has um, nine games. So as you see, you need to put the number of each sort of game and make sure you've got that range there set up. So I've got all these games. So, um, so if I just click run, so it just, in, or outputs a random game. So I thought I might use this in some of my videos just for a bit of fun to decide which video I do. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, if you need um, any help on that, just um, put, 
put in a few questions in the comment section and that. Um, so that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys later. Um, thanks for watching this video, and bye.